generating and using cloud credentials. Cloud credentials provide your project with permissions to replicate your source machines into your target AWS region, and to create, manage, and delete resources on it. These credentials are applied at the project level in the cloud and dura user console. You can use the same credentials for as many projects as you like. AWS credentials consist of an access key ID and a secret access key. In order to generate these credentials, you will first need to create an AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, user, and assign the proper permission policy to this user from within the AWS console. Let's start by creating the policy. This policy is based on a predefined Cloud Endure policy which contains the necessary permissions for using AWS as your target infrastructure. Click Services and then navigate to Security, Identity and Compliance and click I am. Select the Policies option from the left-hand menu. On the Policies page, click Create Policy. Click on the JSON tab, since the policy that we will provide is in JSON format. Navigate to the Cloud and Durium Policy file, which can be found within the Setup and Info, AWS Credentials tab under. The project must have these permissions. Copy the content. Paste the copied policy code into the JSON field over any text that currently exists there. Click Review Policy. On the Review Policy page, enter a name for the new policy, as well as an optional description. Click the Create Policy button at the bottom of the page. You will be redirected back to the main policies page, where you will see a confirmation that the new policy has been created. Once we have the policy in place we can proceed with creating the IAM user. You will need to create a new IAM user with the proper access permissions and attach the policy you just created to that user. Let's begin by navigating to users within the IAM navigation menu. Click Add User. On the Add User page, enter your username and enable the programmatic access option by checking the corresponding box. Click Next, Permissions. Select the Attach Existing Policies Directly option as we have already created our policy. Search for the policy you previously created, and then check the box to the left of the policy name. Then click Next, Tags. We will not be adding any tags. Click Next, Review. Make sure that the correct username, access type, and policy are shown on the review page. Click Create User. You will be provided with your AWS Access Key ID and Secret Access Key. These are the credentials you will need to enter into the Cloud Endure console. Save your Access Key ID and Secret Access Key in an accessible and secure location. You can download a CSV file with both values by clicking the Download.csv button. Click Close. You will be returned to the users page and your newly created user will be shown. You will now need to enter your generated credentials into the Cloud and Dura user console. Navigate to the Setup and Info page. Open the AWS Credentials tab. Paste your AWS Access Key ID and Secret Access Key into the corresponding fields in the Cloud and Dura user console. Click Save. Configuring Replication Settings. After entering your cloud credentials, you must configure the settings of the replication process. You can access the replication settings by navigating to the Setup and Info page, and then the Replication Settings tab. Here you can configure a variety of settings, including your source and target environments, your replication server settings, and various additional settings. The settings configured here will be automatically applied to each newly added source machine. These settings can later be changed for each individual source machine. We will briefly review each setting category here. First off, select your source infrastructure under the Disaster Recovery Source header. If you are replicating from AWS, then select your specific AWS region. If you are replicating from another cloud or non-cloud infrastructure, then select other infrastructure. If you are replicating from vCenter, then you will need to perform additional installation steps, as discussed. Next, you will need to select your Disaster Recovery Target. Select the specific AWS region into which you want to replicate your source machines. Once you have selected your source and target infrastructures, you will be able to define your replication server settings. Choose the replication server instance type. By default, Cloud Endure uses the T3.small instance type. 
selecting a larger instance type may accrue additional costs. Choose the converter instance type. This is the server that converts the disks to boot and run in the target infrastructure. You can either choose the default instance type or you can choose a different instance type. This feature is only available when the source infrastructure is either other infrastructure or vCenter. Choose whether you want to use a dedicated replication server. This will dedicate a single replication server for each source machine, instead of a single replication server for multiple machines. Choose the default disk type to be used by the replication servers. You can either select the Use Fast SSD Data Disks option, or the Use Slower, Low Cost Standard Data Disks option. If you have a machine with multiple disks, you'll be able to choose the exact EBS volume type for each disk. Choose the subnet where the replication servers will be launched. The default subnet is the subnet that is allocated to you by AWS. Choose the security group to apply to the replication servers. A security group acts as a virtual firewall, which controls the inbound and outbound traffic of the staging area. Choose how data is sent from the cloud and agent to the replication servers. Here you can select whether you would like to use a public or private network for sending the replicated data from the source machines to the staging area. If you check this option, you'll be able to disable the use of public IPs and to define a proxy server URL if you wish to use one. Enable Volume Encryption This option will encrypt your data at rest by using the EBS encryption feature. If selected, choose the Volume Encryption key. Staging Area Tags here you can manage tags that will be attached to all resources created by Cloud Endure in the staging area. Network Bandwidth Throttling This option allows you to regulate network traffic and minimize bandwidth congestion by controlling the transfer rate of data. Once you have set your replication settings, click Save Replication Settings.